Now, thanks to 90 Mile Wines and Anytime Fitness Glenelg, it's Chewing the Fat with Bevan Jones. Welcome to another edition of Chewing the Fat and the Bays are up and about. They're the minor premiers for 2019 in the sample. We're joined by a star from the Bays who's played 95 games, represented South Australia this year for the very first time in their great seven point win over WA and also last year's best and fairest winner. That is Maxie Proud. Max, great to have you in Chewing the Fat, mate. Thanks, Bevo. Cheers for having me. Um, so let's talk about your journey so far, um, your footy journey. How'd you end up at the Bays? Um, obviously a local boy, so I went to um, to Sago Heart down the road and um, played my junior footy at Plimpton. Um, so I, I remember coming to games <laughs> at the Glenelg Footy Club and you know standing behind the goals over there and you know you'd have the blokes on one side and the girls on the other side and that used to be your sort of Saturday Arvo activity. Um, but then yeah, obviously um, as, as I got a bit older, I started doing some junior footy out here. Didn't always get a game and then once I finished at Sago Heart, um, played under 18s here and then. Obviously worked through reserves and into the league side, so just always been around the place. <laughs> yeah, but um, obviously it was a bit, bit, bit hard to start with. You know, it takes, it takes a bit to find your feet, and then um, yeah, eventually you start playing consistent league footy. So, and you've 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 done really well because you've you've had a, through a lot of injuries. A lot of people probably would have given up to be honest with what you've been yeah. through, but it must make you feel really good knowing that you play the 95 games now, and the, the team itself are flying. Going for your first flag since 1986, so you must feel pretty happy about that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, it hasn't always been easy, and um, we've obviously had a sort of a long absence from the finals. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's nice to be back there, and there's a bit of excitement around. You know, you get all the, all the fans and all that uh, excited. But I mean, we're, we're going to treat it sort of uh, as another game, really, once we get to finals. But um, as you said, yeah, it was a fair few injuries sort of along the way, and. Um, yeah, a few times where you think, oh, what am I doing? Why am I tra training so much? And, but I couldn't leave the place, so it sort of showed that um, that's why I wanted to stay, and I'm glad I did. So. And you brought in a bit of talent this year with Lukey Partington, obviously uh, Corey Gregson, a couple of other boys, Liam McBean, the leading goal, sc goal scorer for the uh, sample. Um, and last season, you just missed out on the finals. So where do you think the turnaround's been this year? Um, oh, a multitude of things really, I mean obviously those blokes help, um, so we've, we've recruited well, we got a couple of blokes back like yeah, Liam and, and Brad Agnew who went overseas last year, um, obviously a game plan, a consistent game plan with, with a coach Mark Stone, um, obviously towards the end of last year we started playing more consistent footy and then obviously that game plan just carried into this year, we've had a pre-season to train it. Um, and obviously the, 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 cr the group as well, a bit more of a, a sort of a core group and um, that's been here for a while now and starting to really gel together and, and even some good young guys coming through as well, which you've seen this year. Some guys have sort of come in and played their first games and, um, and played a role. So and that, and that's all sort of all we expect for anyone that plays in the team is just to play the role. So. And uh, let's go back to your debut back in 2012. <laughs> do you remember it against South Adelaide? Yeah, I do. It was a night game. It was here. Um, I stood Andrew Ainger. Um, but yeah, I think we just went down that game. Uh, but you, you, I mean, you never forget your first um, first crack at league footy, and I sort of you have to, had to work fairly hard for it um, back then. You still do now. But I remember I was sort of toiling away for a while, thinking I was ready to play league, and, and sort of kept holding out, holding out, and then got the opportunity. So um, yeah, obviously it was, uh, it was a great honour to play league footy, and it's taken me a fair while to get to 94 more. But um, yeah, hopefully get to 100 games early next year. Yeah, fingers crossed for that, mate. Yeah. And uh, what was it like this year playing for the state for the very first time and obviously getting a win over there in WA since the first time in two th or since 2003, I think, yeah. the last time you guys won over there? Yeah, it was, it was obviously a, a great honour to represent the state and even just, just to get the squad I was pretty stoked with. Um, but yeah, then to go, go into state, travel, which you, I mean, you obviously don't do sort of in state league footy, um, but to go to travel with, with blokes you normally play against, um, a great experience and then play on Optus Stadium and to win. Um, it, was a, it was a pretty surreal sort of sort of 48 hours because it went so quickly and obviously got to celebrate afterwards and, and then you sort of get back um, 
and yeah, you plan against those guys the next week. So it's, it all happened pretty quickly, but I think it was something that I really look back on sort of at the end of the career and, and be pretty sort of proud of. Um, hopefully there's a couple more sort of state games in there. So. Yeah, I've interviewed Matty Rose recently. One of the things that he talked about was how, you know, you get, to, like you mentioned before, you get to play against these guys on Saturdays, but then they're your best mates for that game yeah. and you get to really build up a great relationship with them. That must be really cool as well. Yeah, well, often when you play against these blokes, you don't really like them, but then, <laughs> then you actually realise they're decent blokes, so <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah, but then when, when you do play against them, it's all sort of, it's all serious again, so. That, that must be, yeah, must We're be all competitive. <laughs> yeah, and the, the 2019 final series is going to be super exciting. Obviously, we've got the Magpies and uh, Crows playing in the qualifying final and the elimination Sturt and Norwood. Um, how do you see the finals going? Um, yeah, obviously, we'll watch pretty closely this week. Um, we'll, we'll try on Saturday and um, just enjoy the weekend off. Um, obviously, it's been a while since we've played, but I mean, we've got a pretty sort of uh, good group where we're, we're just going to treat it sort of as any other game and, and not try and know think about it too much um, but yeah we just know that if we play our, our sort of consistent footy and everyone plays their role like we did at the, um, yeah, throughout the year that we'll, we'll sort of we're a good chance so obviously yeah just just concentrate on training for the next week and a bit and then and then got to get on that late over which is exciting yeah get excited yeah yeah and the proud family is a, um, a pretty big sporting family you've got your sister Maddie and you've got your brother who plays a bit of footy at Victor and then your, your grandparents and father who have played footy at a high level as well yeah yeah it is um, obviously Maddie's she's the golden child everyone knows Maddie and she does <laughs> she's pretty amazing at what she does um, obviously she's injured at the moment but um, she's had a very good netball career so far and captain of the Swifts and then you know, dad played at West Adelaide um, grandpa at, at North Adelaide um, and then yeah Dougie's off, off on the forgotten one but uh, <laughs> he's probably the most talented of the lot he's, he's very smart and, and he plays at shocks these days just down the road so they're in a final series at the moment um, and then also my mum's side um, they're, they're sort of tied in with Glenelg as well and I've actually got a cousin who's playing reserves um, yeah. Oscar so yeah we're sort of bit of a sporty family I guess and there is a lot of ties with Glenelg just through mum's side and, and um, her, her brothers as well so they've all played footy at, at Glenelg so yeah. And uh, outside of footy what are your interests Maxie? Um, I, I love to travel um, you don't get to do too much of it when you're playing sort of half serious footy but um, in the off season I always go away and sort of like to go on a snow trip or, or to, the, to the beach or something like that but um, yeah I don't know go to a gig every now and then you know <laughs> it's a yeah no, nothing, nothing too more than that, really. And uh, we all love our, our practical jokes. So, what's the best one you've come across since your time at the base? Oh, there's been a few, I reckon. There's been a few, but one that sticks to mind is um, we have a, a gala auction every year, gala dinner. And um, one year there was a silent auction, and Darcy Bailey's written down Matt Snook's name for a silent auction item, and was for like a blow dry and a perm or something <laughs> like that. He ends up getting the getting the winning, so he had to go and uh, get a perm done, which he probably doesn't need. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah. One of the best. I love it. <laughs> and to finish, we're going to do something called our 90 seconds thanks to 90 mile wine. So one of our sponsors up there in Gore, shout out to them. We're going to go through a series of questions in 90 seconds, Maxi. So first one, your favourite food? Uh, burritos. Favourite um, band? Um, oh, Arctic Monkeys. Favourite gig you've ever been to? Kings of Leon at Memorial Drive. Nice. Uh, your favourite drink? Say beer? Or yeah, coffee, coffee lattes. <laughs> favourite holiday destination? Norway. Our funniest teammate and why? Brad Agnew. Uh, he's just always laughing and makes you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest pest at the club and why? Probably Corey Gregson. He's not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> just likes to bug you? Yeah, he yeah. just likes to, likes to sort of have a joke around, but he's never very serious. That's yep. good. That's good. Uh, pie with or without sauce? Uh, when I was a kid, probably without, but definitely with with sauce. Uh, if I'm using an iced coffee fan or a lot of fan? Uh, I don't drink it very often, but I'm a fan. Fair. Yeah. Yep. Um, and I reckon uh, that's about it, Maxi. Oh. So thanks so much for joining us on Chewing the Fat today, mate. All the very best in the finals. Cheers, Bevo. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Thank you. Cheers. Shout out to, uh, to Glenelg Footy Club for letting us have a chat to the great man as well. See you again next time, guys. Take care and bye for now. Thanks.